Hey everyone, welcome to TechWire. Today we are going to see about adding two numbers in a two linked list and we are going to see the logic behind it. We are going to solve this particular problem in order of n time and order of n space using a dummy node. Now let's dive into the solution. This is the first example that has been given to us in the lit code. Um, so yes, so we just have to add two nodes just like normal addition for example we just have to add two and five here so we are going to get seven and here we are going to get ten right so we have to take only the last digit and we have to place that here we have to place zero here then we have to take this one to as carry to the next addition next addition of the nodes so here we are going to get 3 and 4 7 and we have to add this carry 1 so we have to have 8 here okay this is the addition we need to have what if we have a carry at the end this is an edge case for example if I have 6 and 6 in the last two nodes we will be having 12 right we will be having 12 so we have to put two first and the carry one at the end okay now we will see the logic behind we have seen the logic now we will see using the pointers i'm going to show you that so first i will create a dummy node since we said um, this the problem we, will, we are going to solve is order of n space so we are going to create a dummy node okay now first this is l1 right this is l2 that is what given in a in the problem now i will be having a carry variable as well which i will first set that one as zero now i will iterate using the both the list okay First, I will iterate using the both simultaneously. I will iterate both the list. So here we will be having L1, the node exists. So we are having two. I will add this two to the carry. Okay, then L2, then I will add L2. Now I'm going to have seven as carry. Okay. Now what I will do is, I will append, I will create another new node. I will just join this 7. So what I will do perform is, I will perform a modulo operator. I will use, I will perform a modulo operator. Okay, how? Carry modulo 10 which gives a reminder carry modulo 10 will give you the unit digit okay okay so here 7 modulo 10 i'm going to get 7 only okay so 7 will i will place that 7 here then I will check for any carry is there or not. Here there is no carry. I will check that carry using a floor operator. That's C floor 10. The carry floor 10. Which will give me the carry. The This digit. Okay. I will show you clearly in the next iteration. Now there is 6 and 4. Now I will move L1 pointer and L2 pointer here. Okay. Now carry is 0. Since we perform a floor operator using 10, a carry will reset to 0. 
when there is no carry it is going to be obviously zero right so it will be reset to zero now then the next iteration now we have four plus six now i will be having 10 now comes the interesting part now i will get the reminder in the carry which i will be getting zero here okay i will be getting the reminder as zero this zero i will append here okay then i will perform the carry of uh, the floor operator right I will perform floor here here I will get 10 divided 10 I will be getting 1 okay this one I will add to the next iteration now the carry will be 1 okay now I will move the pointers to the next nodes Here, 1 plus 3 plus 4, I will be getting 8. I will again perform the modulo operator. Okay. Again, I will be getting 8. This modulo, this answer, I will be appending here, 8. Now, I will do floor. Where I will be getting 0. Since there is no carry, I will be getting 0. I won't append this. Okay. Now, when returning, I will return it from here. Dummy dot next. Okay. Now, I have an another edge case here. Since our carry will be 0 after this, from after this calculation, I will be moving the L1 and L2 here. Okay. What if, if, we, if we have double digit, multiple digit at the end? Okay. Like this. If I have 10. So here 6 and 4 will be 10. First, I will append the value that I get in the modulo operator which is nothing but i am going to get the zero i will append first the unit digit then i will check for is there any carry or not if there is carry i will append that in the last okay now we will see the code for this so first I will create a dummy node where I will place a pointer on the dummy node itself. Okay. I will place head. Okay. I will create a dummy node. Then I will create a carry okay then i will check for whether there is a list exist whether the list one exist or list two exist or is there any carry at the end i will check for all three values okay first i will check if there is a node in l1 list if there is exist then I will add that particular value in the node value in the list one the list one pointing to the carry then I will move L1 pointer to the next node here itself then I will check for L2 if there is a node exist in L2 I will add that value also to the carry. Okay. Now I will move 
move the L2 pointer as well to the next pointing to the next node. Now I will create that is why it, the joining comes here. I will the current that head pointer the head pointer is pointing on the dummy head okay now i'm going to create a new node i'm going to append the newly added thing i'm creating carry modulo of 10 okay i'm going to get the reminder then i will move this one as well then i will perform the floor whether there is a carry is there in the value or not whether we have a double multi, double digit value okay then i will return the dummy dot next looks perfect we'll try to run this one oh we have mentioned carry now it should work yes it worked so this is the solution for this particular problem this takes order of n time since we iterate only once and the space is order of n so yes thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe if you like to watch my previous videos please check out my playlist that i mentioned below and also keep supporting happy learning cheers